We don't realize half the time people are listening. We're just having our own little party. We get out and people quote back the show. They'll tell you something from a month and a half ago that you don't even remember. She goes, she goes, I know you don't know me. I know you because I listen to you every single morning. I feel like I know you like just one of my friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, but you are one of our friends. It's about as personal as you can get. It's a, a member of your own family. They know what's going on with the vehicles we drive. They know where we go to eat. Where they we live. Where we go to play, which will sometimes get you in trouble. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's weird how uh, our lives that we lead on the air mm -hmm. become part of not only the material but other people's lives that are listening. If we're doing an endorsement for a particular company or a product or a service, we truly use it, we truly believe in it, and our listeners believe us. Yeah, it becomes a part of the fabric of, I just spit all over you. It becomes part of the fabric of the show, whether it's something that we're drinking, something that we're eating, something that we're driving, uh, a place we go, yes. a product or a service. If someone comes into your house, fixes the air conditioning, you talk about it on the air, more of a story, not a commercial. It's something that we have to genuinely use, genuinely believe in, yes. and then we can share that experience with our listener. Because if something goes wrong, or if something doesn't go according to plan, or maybe a deal isn't what it's claimed to be, they don't call up usually the, the, the client or the product. It's usually us going, you guys sent us there. And if I am not willing to endorse something or to recommend it to my friends and family, I'm not going to do it to our listeners.